Well, good morning, everybody. I uh, am just finishing up here, heading home from Einstein's. Had my uh, coffee. And I put out a vlog yesterday. And there's a couple of things that I forgot to mention in that vlog. And a couple of things that have happened since that vlog. So, let's get into it. So yesterday morning, Dawn and I were having breakfast over here at a wake in Carrollton, and a gentleman came in, and I won't mention his name because number one I don't know if I have permission to mention his name and number two sadly Don and I couldn't remember his name we are terrible with names I apologize whoever the gentleman was that came in you know who you are and very nice man introduced himself we talked a little bit he rides a uh, Kawasaki uh, Considering a Goldwing in the future, he uh, is a subscriber, you know, watches our channel, and just came by to introduce himself and say hi, and as he left, he said something, and I couldn't hear him because it was kind of noisy in the restaurant, and turns out, he ended up buying our breakfast, and if you're watching this video, you know who you are, Put a comment down below if you want to. Don and I wanted to thank you for buying our breakfast. I think you mentioned that when you left the restaurant and I couldn't quite hear what you said. So I didn't want you to think I didn't appreciate what you were doing. I, I heard you say something, I just didn't hear what you said. And I think you probably said something like, don't worry about breakfast, I've got it taken care of or something like that. But anyway, Don and I very much appreciated that. It was a nice gesture, it was completely unnecessary. Please feel free to come back and join us for breakfast and coffee one day if you'd like. We're usually there on Sundays. Uh, they open at 7, so <clears throat> like I say, whoever, you, <laughs> whatever your name is, you know who you are. I apologize. Don and I both apologize for not remembering your name because we are just terrible with names. I, I, I really feel bad that we didn't remember your name, but please reintroduce yourself and I promise you the next time we will remember your name. So, now that that story is in the books, if you're new to this channel, uh, we try to keep it pretty much motorcycle oriented, but I'll get off on tangents, talk about other stuff, but if you're passionate about motorcycles, and when I say motorcycles, I'm talking about two or three wheels. It doesn't matter if you ride a trike or a Can-Am Spider or a BMW or a Harley. We don't care what kind of bike you ride. Um, if you're passionate, why not subscribe to the channel? It doesn't cost anything, and uh, I'd appreciate it. As I mentioned in yesterday's motor vlog, uh, or day before yesterday, really, uh, we just hit 35,000 subscribers, and the next, the next level for me is 50,000. Want to get to? And you could be a part of that. And uh, click the subscribe button. If you click that little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Man, we got a lot of traffic this morning. It's crazy. Now, another... Something I'm really kind of sad to have to report to you. And I feel a little guilty that I didn't test this before my last video on the Cena Spider ST1. And that is that, as of right now, I cannot get the Spider to communicate with CarPlay. It has something to do with the microphone, but there's no way for me to communicate with Siri using this spider headset. I have this exact same problem with one of my Cardo headsets. Worked fine, I could hear the audio, 
but I could not communicate with Siri through the uh, microphone. If any of you know a fix for this, please put in the comments down below. The reason I checked this yesterday is because one of you put a comment on one of my videos. I, I, I forget the name right off the top of my head, but one of you put a comment in saying you could not get your spider to work with CarPlay. So when, as soon as I got back into the country, or back into, the, into town, I decided I would test it on my own, and sure enough, uh, you are correct. It does not work with CarPlay. Now I'm on my way home, and as soon as I get home, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send an email to my contact at Cena uh, in their tech department to let them know of this issue. I'm also going to try doing a hard reset uh, and a fault reset, a factory reset, I should say, and see if since I put in that 1.1.1 firmware update maybe it required uh, some sort of a reset and see if that maybe resolves the issue I don't think it will but it could you never know so I'm gonna try doing both a fault reset and a factory reset I'm gonna repair it to the gold wing and see if that doesn't do anything I already went in using the Cena app and tried to adjust the volume settings on some of the different uh, options. I turned everything up to the maximum, basically. And that didn't do it. So uh, that didn't have any impact at all on the uh, uh, Siri slash Apple CarPlay. And I'm sure Android Auto is the same. It almost as if the microphone is not turned on. That's kind of what it feels like. Again, if any of you out there are having this issue, please let me know. If you are if you have a spider and you're not having this issue and it's working fine with CarPlay, let me know that. Because that would be good information as we try to track this down. Now, I will tell you another thing about the spider. And I've mentioned this in the past, but the more I use it, the more I notice this. Cena re... Uh, uh, what do you say? They, they modified how this thing starts up. And when you start up the spider, you know, you press the two buttons to turn it on. It wants to go into pairing mode. It doesn't immediately recognize the Goldwing. It doesn't immediately recognize that it is already paired to the Goldwing. And it just kind of defaults into this mobile phone pairing mode. And that's something new that Cena did with the Spider is the idea was when you take it out of the box, brand new unit, rather than you having to put it into pairing mode, it would just automatically go into pairing mode so that you could pair it. And that, you know, in theory, that's a good idea, but in reality, it's not working very well because what's happening is Apparently, I'm just guessing, what's happening is, even though it's already paired to the Goldwing, it's not recognizing that. It's just going into the pairing mode. So what you have to do is you have to turn the unit off, reboot it, start it up again, sometimes two times. And um, it's just frustrating. I don't know if it does the same thing if it's paired to a mobile phone. It could be a, an issue that's unique to the Goldwing Bluetooth pairing. And it probably is. I mean, all of these issues could be related to the Goldwing's Bluetooth system. Maybe it's only sending out a ping every 5 seconds or 10 seconds, and the headset is timing out and going into pairing mode because it doesn't, doesn't see the Goldwing yet. I don't know. I don't know how this thing works. I don't understand how this Bluetooth pairing works. But I suspect that if Cena had not put in this automatic pairing thing, where it, in other words, when you start up this Cena headset, it, does, it doesn't think it's paired to anything. So it's just going into pairing mode. So that tells me that maybe the Goldwing is only sending out some sort of a ping every few seconds 
and it's not fast enough for the headset to recognize it. Now sometimes you'll turn the headset on and it will find the gold wing. So maybe it's within that three second or five second window that it catches that ping and it identifies that it's paired and everything seems to work okay. Some of you that understand how Bluetooth communications work, maybe you can answer what I'm, make sense of what I'm trying to say because maybe what I'm trying to say makes no sense at all. Possibly on a mobile phone, it's sending out this little Bluetooth ping every half second. And it doesn't have that problem pairing because it can recognize that it's paired. So I don't know. Maybe I'm not making any sense. Let me know in the comments down below if, if you understand this. I have to understand it better than me because I don't understand it at all. But let me know if that's possibly what's happening. So anyway, you know, remember, Cena did not build this just for the Goldwing. They built this just for general use, primarily to, to pair with a mobile phone. The Goldwing is a whole different animal. So we're just trying to figure out how to make it work for us. Maybe Cena could modify their uh, system to where it waits a little bit longer to see if it's paired uh, before they go into that pairing mode. I don't know. Anyway. If you found anything in this video valuable and you like the video, please click that little like button. Give it a thumbs up. That really does help the channel. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motovlogs.